I like the dictionary as much as the next guy. I even read through it once in middle school because I thought it would impress a girl. I would definitely recommend this book to anyone who's trying to find the entirety of the English language. It's pretty good for that. But I've recently stumbled on one glaring issue that I simply cannot ignore. You see, the problem is right here, on page 149. Right in between combo and combustible. If you can't spot the problem, I'll explain a little more. To get to the root of our problem, we have to flip over here, to page 226. In between disc jockey and discrimination. Right here, on the left, just about in the middle of the page, lies one of my favorite words. Discombobulate. To upset or confuse. Discombobulate is a great word. Whoever made it up deserves some kind of medal. It's just weird enough that it's fun to say, but also just normal enough that I can still use it in conversation. And it even has five syllables. dis cum bob you late Which is clearly the best amount of syllables for a word to have. But this great word has just one fatal flaw. Dis, prefix, meaning negative or opposite of. So, for example, dislike is the opposite of like, discover is the opposite of cover, and disappear is the opposite of appear. All of the words that start with this prefix have that in common. Instead of being defined by what they are, these words are defined by what they are not. In a way, they get their value from being the opposite of something else. Kind of like yin and yang, one can't exist without the other. Unlike those other words, discombobulate has no such partner. It makes me a little sad to see such a great word go without its counterpart. It's kind of like watching Batman with no Robin, or Butch Cassidy with no Sundance Kid. It's still great on its own, but you're only seeing half of the picture. So I have taken the liberty of fixing this problem. Combobulate, to put in a state of order or knowing. This now lives right where it belongs, on page 149, in between the words combo and combustible. So, to whoever writes the dictionaries, I fixed this one for you, but I can't fix them all. I don't have that many pens. So, if you could fix this mistake in the next batch you print, it would really combobulate the dictionary, and I would really appreciate it. 